Hi everyone, it's Belinda. I wanted to share a video um, with a couple small projects that I've been working on recently. Um, these are two swaps that I made for ladies on the scrap beach. And I tell you, um, I remember the days when I used to be a little frustrated when I'd go into the restroom and find this waiting for me. Because it usually meant, oh, somebody emptied and didn't bother to replace the roll. These days when I go in and find this, I sort of smile a little bit and think, oh good, I have another toilet paper roll that I can make something really cute out of. Who would have thought you could use these for something fun? I know you've seen the videos out there on YouTube before. We wanted to do a swap that was simple, um, wouldn't take a lot of time, wasn't too complicated, and would be fun, easy project to do before the holidays. So I'm gonna share those projects with you tonight. This mini is going to go to Nicole. Um, oh, I, I'll tell you a little bit about the swap. The requirements were that we had to use five tubes, toilet paper tubes, and that we could only use black, red, cream, or tan colors. And um, so my swap partner was Nicole, and this mini is for her. And if you can see, let's see if I can get that up there. The word wishes was a sticker from the Hot Off the Press Dazzles sticker sheet. And there's a button in here and some of the ribbon, uh, sorry about that, some of the ribbon leaves that I've melted a little bit, some lace. And then this trim right here was cut from a spool of ribbon and I just cut out the design that I liked and it made a really pretty border on the top and the bottom. And it has fibers and lace and ribbons on the binding. It's on a little ring. So the first page Here's a Graphics 45 tag, just room for a photo on the back. And then this really cool sticker right here um, came from the Hot Off the Press Dazzles stickers that I won in the drawing that I won at their Girls Getaway Weekend. So they are lovely and I'll, you'll see I used a lot of them in this mini. This little strip here is also from that same uh, sticker set. And here's the first tag. All the tags have been punched with either EK Success or Martha Stewart punches on the edges. And this one is a Tim Holtz tag. And it says Cherish. Oh, and here's the tag for this one. And there's a uh, Recollections metal frame here, open at the top so you can slide a picture in. And then this is a this page makes a little pocket and it has this little wallet in it. Uh, the wallet has a metal cl uh, magnetic closure and you can open it up and you can see there's room for journaling and photos inside. And then on the back, this was packaging from a Graphic 45 vintage stationery set. I just thought it was kind of cool looking, so those are tucked inside of there. And that tucks back in that pocket. And this page is pretty plain, except for the sticker set. Again, this set came from the um, Hot Off the Press Dazzle stickers, and it's got some Mariposa paper behind it. And another tag with the sticker set. Let's see if you can see that one. And then on this page, I've got a little fabric rose, some film strip, and I found a very cool stamp that makes this tag. I just loved it. So it's just got a little tag that'll tuck in right there. It's one of my favorite pages. Um, I'll show you the tag first. There's a flower that I punched out of some Graphic 45 paper. This gold trim here is another sticker from the Dazzle sticker set. Same with the back. I love those things. And then there's just a flower and um, a pocket here for this tag to slide in. And then there's also a tag oops, behind it that's been stamped for journaling, 
room for a photo. And then this page is some mulberry flower and another little tag on this side um, for journaling. And then this is the last page and it's got another Graphic 45 tag there. Oops, sorry about that, I went right off the screen. And this very cool little plastic embellishment that I had. And then this is some more of that um, uh, hot off the press stickers. And then I added some pearls right along the edge here. And then the last tag. Just to add a photo to that packet. And then the back of the album. It's got flocked ribbon and flocked paper and it says wish. It'll match the cover that says wishes. So that's the first project. And then this one is for uh, my other swap partner. Um, this one is a mini album that will go to Reagan. Uh, and we decided we wanted our mini to have a Christmas theme. So this one is for her and it's called Making a List. It's got some ribbons and fibers and it's got this fun little charm on the on the um, binding. It's just a little sequin ball with some bling on it. So it says making a list and there's a little pocket here in the cover and it has a little book in it and it's for making little lists. It's just a tiny little mini book with a charm and a little pom-pom dangle on it. So that'll tuck right inside the cover there. And here's the first tag. I hope the glimmer shows up on this because I used some really pretty glitter pins <clears throat> on the tree. Oh, I think it does show up pretty good. And I aged the heck out of this thing because I really liked that old vintage look. And there's just room for journaling back there. Oops, we got a little hang up here. Okay, and then here's the first page. And on this um, page, what I used was one of the little Tim Holtz pins, and I stuck a button on the top cover of it, and the that holds this tag in place. So a photo can slide behind there, um, or this little ticket can slide there to hold another photo. This is one of my foil tags, and on this tag, I stamped holly spray with stays on ink and then I added sorry about the glimmer there maybe you can see it better there and I added some stickles for red berries on that one and this is the back side of the foil tag it's got room for a photo it's got a little pocket right here there's a um, fa -la, la 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 poinsettia with a little red bow on it and that's three dimensional see if you can see that. And a little ticket that sticks right in the pocket. And on this page we have um, a little photo wallet in here. So it's going to tie it. It's got some vintage seam binding. And a sticker that says North Pole Express from Snowflakes. And then this page flips up and it has two little flaps here that will open. And then this piece flops down and it has a pocket with a sticker with a tag here and a ticket and then this piece will flip up. So you get a lot of room for one little tiny area I think. You get a lot of real estate there. And I'll tie that up later. Oh yeah. And here's the tag that goes in that pocket. It's stamped and it's got a little piece of designer paper on the bottom. I love this paper. It looks like candy canes. And room for journaling on the back. And on this page there's another one of those kind of cool little black embellishments with a button and a bling on the inside. And here's the tag for this page. It says Saint Nick. And then room for a photo there as well. Ok, 
Okay, on this page there's some um, Say It With Pearls and then a, another tag. The memory, uh, the word on here comes from the the uh, Hot Off The Press sticker set as well. And this paper is all flocked and nice and soft. So that tucks right here. And then in this pocket is a tag, uh, a stamped tag, and then I use some of the Tim Holtz um, tissue tape to trim it out with. And then on the back there's room for journaling. On this page, um, this is a piece of ribbon, and I'm going to show you another example of it. This ribbon comes all white. And then you can glimmer mist it, stamp on it, distress it with distress ink. So it starts white with the black flocking. And the flocking is a little bit sparkly. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, so you can do a lot of cool things with this ribbon. Uh, you can see the back. You'll see a little bit of what I did there. So for this album, there's just a piece here that has had a little bit of old lace glimmer mist on it. And then I used a small script stamp over the top of that to, let's see if I can get that in there, to show that up. Um, I'm going to put some of this ribbon on my Etsy store, so if you're interested in getting some of that, uh, it probably won't go on my store until Wednesday, but drop me a message if you'd like some, and I'll be happy to uh, help you complete an order for it. It's just beautiful stuff. You'll have a lot of fun with it. Okay, um, back to the mini. There's a little snowflake charm here, and the brad in the center is a little jingle bell. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's a little red jingle bell, and then there's just a little spot on the back for a photo, or you can write a word or something. And here's a Tim Holtz tag. And the tag has some little red bling on it, and that just tucks right behind one of the Martha Stewart fan scallops. And, um, this page is a... I think it's called Glycine Envelope. It's a little sheer envelope. And then on this page, there's a little Christmas tree tag, and it has more bling on it. Oh, and there's some more of those stickers. From Hot Off the Press. And then inside the envelope, I think it looks like a candy cane in there, but some of the cute candy cane paper. And it's a little, just a little photo wallet. I didn't put anything on the outside because I really I did want it to look like a piece of candy cane in there. And the tag slides here and right behind the flower and that's what holds the paper, the page shut or the envelope shut. Here is this page. Um, these snowflakes are popped up on dimensionals and so is the word and that snowflake. And here's this tag. And that's been colored with my glitter pen, so I think it shows up a little bit there. And this page is the little flap that flips up and room for a photo and the word joy there, and that's popped up a little. And then the last page here, there's a snowflake that's dimensional and room for a photo. And here's the last tag. Oops, I got it upside down. It says Merry Christmas, it's all glimmery and shimmery and looks very vintage. And then um, just a distressed old tag to write on. Oops, I did it backwards again. And then on the back page, this page I covered with um, some pretty cool ribbon that I got last year. And um, I don't think I mentioned it, but a lot of the paper in here is the Teresa Collins Christmas paper. This word was cut out from the paper, and then I added a little bit of glitter to it. Um, I thought it went well with the theme for the album. So, that is Reagan's Mini and um, Nicole's Mini. I'm going to put these out in the mail this week. I hope my partners enjoy them. It was fun working on this project. I loved the color combination so much that I think I will do um, a larger format Christmas mini in the same color theme because it was a lot of fun. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Appreciate everything. Have a nice evening.